So today we're going to plant our HD screen. This is going to be the second part in a series where we showed you about 10 days ago working this ground up. Now it's really dry up here. Uh, we've got a chance of rain for three days coming Saturday, Sunday, Monday, maybe into Tuesday. So we're hopefully getting some rain out of there. And that's one of the reasons why we like the seed buried. If it's buried about a half inch to an inch, that area is going to retain moisture for uh, quite a few days, enabling that seed to grow. So we're going to show you the steps I take personally to plant this. I've got some older equipment that you'll be quite surprised. The, the little disc that we used to bury this is probably 20 years old. We actually saved it from the scrap bin and we use it just for putting our screen in because it works so well. So we're going to show you we're going to use uh, some urea and some triple 19 for fertilizer. We're going to probably use about a pound to a pound and a half of the screen on on this particular planting and then we're going to use just a little bit of simazine to go over the top of it. But these are the steps we take in planting our HD screen here in Menominee, Michigan. All right, as you can see, we're using the earthwake bag seeder. Uh, when we do the screen seed, I'm setting it at just under three. And again, you know, like I've talked about before, I'm six foot two. I walk really fast. I've been doing this for about 10 years. So that seems to be the setting for me that works. Uh, when we did our fertilizer, I believe it was on four, but again, I walked fairly quickly. So we're gonna put this screen seed down right now. Okay, we'll take a look at what the ground looks like. You can see, you know, you can see the little red seeds in there. You know, there's some are on top of each other, but for the most part, you know, they're spread out. We try to get a bunch of um, space in between there. You know, you can see the urea and the triple 19. See, we got a little bit of grass coming back here. Actually, you know, the best thing would have been to spray this with Roundup and then come and do it tomorrow, but it's just a timing thing. So, you know, try to kill all this grass that's coming back here, but that's what it looks like. You don't need a lot of screen. And again, I think the setting was three for the screen, four for the fertilizer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is lightly incorporate the seed into the soil with a three foot ATV disc. Uh, it's, I have no idea what the name brand is. It's about 20 years old. Uh, we, we, saw, we found it in a scrap pile uh, a long time ago and we saved it. And honestly, this is the only thing I use it for. It has worked so well for us. And then right behind that is a three foot lawn roller, no water. Okay, and I really like a lawn roller with these little bit softer soils because it, it's more consistent than a cult to pack. A cult to pack we've used a couple of times and we get, we'll get a line of screen, like it looks like I put it in with a drill, but we actually didn't. So in this particular situation with this ground, I really like a lawn roller. So we'll show you how we incorporate the seed. It's gonna be one pass. Now on this far strip, we're gonna just do a disking. Then we're gonna get some RC Big Rock switchgrass. We're gonna put that down, then we're gonna pack everything. But for the most part, if we're just doing the screen, we're just gonna do a disking very lightly. I think we go both three miles to four miles an hour on our ATV with this setup, followed by a roller. And I'm not saying you need to put the switchgrass in with the screen. It's just something we've been asked multiple times, does it work? I know some people that have used the screen and switchgrass combination and it's worked outstanding for them, but I'm just gonna do it here as an experiment to see how well it does. So we're gonna jump on the four wheeler and get this seat incorporated.
out. So now what we're going to do is take the lawn roller, because we have the seed and the fertilizers dissed in already, all we want to do is compact the ground and press that switch grass in. And then this screen will be done, ready for simazine and praying for rain. So there you have it folks, that's how we planted our HD food plot screen on our food plot right behind the house. Now, unfortunately our microphone crapped out on us so we had to come in and finish the uh, last part of the video here in the shop. But now we're going to try two other ways. We went up to one of our leases with real sandy ground and ran it in with our grain drill, followed up with uh, an application of Plot Doctor Nitrogen, Plot Doctor Lime and Plot Doctor Liquid Fertilizer. And now we're going to try in about eight or nine days, we've got another property. We're going to put some of this food plot screen on and we're going to run it in exclusively using the Harrow Drag. I believe you can get them at uh, Tractor Supply, Fleet Farm in uh, the Midwest, Farm and Fleet. I think this one came from Cabela's quite a few years ago. But anyway, we're going to try a different method and see how that works. But hopefully that gave you some pointers. I know a lot of people are getting ready to put the HD screen in. They're waiting for this cold front to come through and bring a bunch of rain. I know we missed out here in Upper Michigan. We, we got probably about a, a half hour rain, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm hoping everybody gets some rain out of this big front that's moving through. So thanks for watching, folks. If you got any questions, hit them in the comments below. And we'll see you in a few days.